Today I'm transforming this nook in the middle of my living room. I'm making it stylish and functional using organizing hacks and budget IKEA products. Plus I'm showing you some of the best IKEA curtain hacks you didn't even know existed. Hi, my name is Man and this is my living room. That's my dog on Mars. And there is this nook that's so close to my living room, but it's just not functional. Let me show you. So this is my living room. And on the other side is my dining area and kitchen. Right here in the middle of everything, there is this just weird nook. This is where Mars's crate was before. We just removed his crate and this area is just like not functional. He doesn't like to sleep here. As you can see, he likes to sleep in the living room. Aren't you the cutest? On the first shelf, we have Mars's treats and a piece of decor. Wow, so nicely decorated. On the second shelf, I keep uh, Mars's food. So right over here is his food. Here we have some more treats. And here more treats. And what is this? We don't know. On the third shelf... Wednesday? When? Huh? What day? Thursday! <laughs> the third day! There are Mars's toys. He has quite a lot of them. And on the lowest shelf, there is Mars's bowls. This one's for water and this one's for food. Oh, hi there. Hi. And there is a dumbbell here and just a plug, not functional plug. And this mirror, I just love this one, but everything below it is just cramped. Let me just tell you the plan. This right here just gotta go. We have to replace it with a closed storage. I'm such a minimalist. I just cannot see visual clutter. So we are replacing this with closed storage for Mars's food, a storage for his treats and toys. And I hope there will be some more storage for some of my things. His bed is going to be just moved right there in the living room. And we are also hanging IKEA curtains. And I just can't wait to start. So let's wrap it up and get started. So long story short, dog treats on display, random decor and shelves loaded with stuff that needs to be stored properly. But first, let's start cleaning. Oh, and I forgot about this beautiful painting. This one's for my niece, Lena. She painted all of us and I'm framing this one and hanging it in the hallway. Now that everything is all cleaned up, let's bring in our storage. I searched and searched for some extremely on-budget slim cabinets and this is the thing I found. These are the Kia Tronos cabinets. I know they are originally made for storing shoes, but I've seen people using these everywhere in their home and they honestly look so sleek and minimal, so I decided to go for it. I'm actually using two pairs of these and I'm hanging them stack one on top of the other on the wall where the shelves were. But first I'm measuring exactly where I want them hanged.
Now another thing is that there is a plaque in the wall and it will get in the way. However, since these cabinets are made out of plastic, I can easily just cut out the back of the lowest cabinet so that it can sit flat on the wall. And I can still use the lowest cabinet as a charging station. So let's do that first. Now could I have used a better tool to cut this one out? Arguably yes, but it works so don't come for me for this one. <laughs> The most important thing here is to make sure that the first cabinet is level. Once you level this one, the others will just go on top. Now, since I'm drilling in drywall, I'm using these drywall anchors paired with screws. Nice one, now we only have three more to go. And let me just say these cabinets are probably the easiest thing I've hanged so far. So don't be intimidated by them. As long as you have the proper screws and anchors for your wall, you are all set. Wow, this corner already looks so much better. Now let's move on to the curtains. First, let's hang this curtain rod. This is actually the same rod I have in the living room and we're hanging it using these brackets. Once I measured everything, it's now time to screw the rod. Again, I'm going in with the drywall anchors and screws. At this point, my drill died, so I'm continuing with the screwdriver. And now it's time for the curtains. I'm using the Hannah Lil curtains from IKEA. I have these in my living room, so I wanted to match them for this window too. We are also using these curtain hooks. I'm showing you how I attach them to my IKEA curtains. And finally, a product I'm so excited about, and I think most of you don't know IKEA even sells, this iron-on hemming tape and I'm showing you how I'm using it to cut my curtains to size without using the sewing machine. But first, let's wash our curtains. And please, never skip this step before cutting your curtains. Most curtains will shrink a few inches after washing them. I've learned this the hard way, so before taking any measurements, make sure to wash them properly. Now, I don't know about you, but since the curtains are super long, I always iron them on the floor. That's just a thing I do. Now, let's move on to the curtain hooks. Attaching these hooks is super simple, and I've seen people doing all sorts of things with them to achieve a certain look. However, I'm using the simplest way to attach them to the gathering tape so that they hang nicely.
I'm also adding these rod hooks. I got these with the rod included, but you can get some from IKEA separately too. And now it's time to hang the curtains. Once the curtains are hanged, now it's time to take the measurements. We are measuring them so they touch the floor, but don't gather at the bottom. Since honestly, that's my favorite way to hang them. Once I marked them, I took them off and made a straight line all along the bottom. Next, I'm ironing my mark to get a straight edge. And now it's time to cut them. However, I'm leaving half an inch for the seam. And now let's iron the seam one last time before going in with the tape. If you don't have the tape, you can obviously use a sewing machine. However, I find this tape to be an easier alternative and you get a much cleaner line, at least with my sewing skills. Once I placed my tape, I started ironing it. And let me just tell you, this was such an easy peasy process. Once I finished, I let it cool off for a few minutes before hanging the curtains again. I repeated the same thing for the other one and hang those two. Now it's the next day and it's time to organize the cabinets. So let's do it. First, I'm adding Mars toys. The best thing is that this cabinet fits all of his toys and they are so much more organized this way. Next on the list are his treats and food. I added his food in this sealed IKEA bag and a measuring cup so it's easier to access it whenever I need it. In the lowest cabinet, I'm adding some bottles and cups for when we are going for a walk and I'm adding up some towels and more bags. And let me just say that I love these IKEA bags. I have them in several different sizes and I use them for storing so many different things throughout my home. And in the high shelf, I'm organizing some towels and table runners so I can have them close at hand when I need them for the dining and kitchen. And now when everything's organized, I'm bringing in a piece from today's sponsor, Sewn Smart Design.
I just want to give a big shout out to my friends at Song that were just too kind to send me a piece just for this space and I couldn't be more happy. I mean just look at this beautiful ottoman. Soul Smart Design is a furniture and lifestyle company made with the belief that design furniture should be accessible to everyone. They have so many cool pieces of furniture for such an amazing price point. And I've been in the looks for this iconic Milton sofa for such a long time and I was so happy that I could get the ottoman from the same collection and try it out in my space. This one's such a timeless piece of furniture in this beautiful white boucle material and most important of all, it's amazingly comfortable to sit in. This piece just tied up this corner so much and I'm so grateful that Sound were sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check them out since they have an ongoing sale at the moment you just don't want to miss. And now it's time for the final touches that are going to make this space super cute. First, I'm adding this feeding station for Mars. This one is handmade by my dad, so shout out to him. I'm also adding these two ceramic bowls inside it. I'm hanging this beautiful piece that I DIY'd with plaster in one of my previous videos. I'll make sure to link that one for you into the description box. And I'm also adding this sculpture I've DIY'd with clay years ago. Now let's remember for just a second how this space looked like before. It was weird, cramped with stuff and just not organized. And let's see how it looks like now. I really hope you like how my mini nuke transformation turned out. I mean, for such a low budget, I think we did an amazing job. I just love how functional and organized everything is now and it looks amazing. It looks so cohesive with the rest of the space and I couldn't be more happy. And I really hope you like it too. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to never miss another video again. Also, by liking, subscribing and commenting, you're helping my small channel so much and I'm so grateful. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll see you designers next week. Bye!